today's video is another video in the Hachette Disney Crochet Blanket series and today we're moving on to issue 44. There are two different squares which we will be completing in this issue but we have already made the background square for Sheldon. I'm going to be doing these videos as a two-parter because they are essentially two different squares. So in this video, we're going to be making Sheldon and sewing him on to the background square that we've already made. And then in part two of this video, we will be making the Finding Nemo coral wheel square. So for Sheldon, you will require these colours which I've already laid out here. So we've got brick red, we've got vanilla, we've got coral, we've got white and we've got black. So let's just get straight into it. So we're starting off with yarn A which is the brick red and we're starting off with a slip knot already on our 4mm hook. Once you've done that you need to chain 20. So yarn over. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Now reading the next part of the pattern is quite confusing and even looking at the pictures it doesn't really seem to make much sense. So it says work through two loops at the top of the foundation chain stitches. Now I'm not 100% sure this is right. I'm not always going to be correct. I'm not like an expert by no means but the only thing that I can think what this means is I will show you now so say we were going into the second chain away from our hook which would be this chain here we would just go through and we would just pick up the one loop on our hook if you turn your foundation or your chain stitches over you will see that not only is there the V either side like this side but there's also like some straight lines going up the back can you see how it looks a bit different on the back to how it looks on the front so I do believe what it's telling us to do is that when we go into the stitch we're not just going through and picking up that loop here we are going to and hopefully I can show this on camera we are going to go through and pick up this bottom one as well. So we will go in and end up with the two loops on our hook. So we've picked up that line at the back as well as the top of the stitch. I can't explain that any better sadly. If you look at that one now where I've just made it you can see the line going down the middle you've got that line just there at the back so I think what we're doing is we're going in through and making sure that the line of the back is also on our hook as well let's just go with that and see what happens so let's get on with the pattern for row one we're making the tail and we want to do a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. So I'm not going into this first one here, I'm going into the second one and when I go through, like I've just shown you, you want to make sure that you've got both of those loops on your hook. So I've picked up, you've got one and two there if you see, and then I'm pulling a loop through, yarning over, and pulling through both. We then want to do three double crochets in each of the next two chains. So I'm continuing along with going in through and making sure I've got both loops on my hook. So I am doing one double crochet into that one and then there's two and then 
I'm going to go back in for my third. So I've done three stitches or three double crochets into that chain stitch. We now want to do three double crochets into the next one as well. So I'm going into my next stitch and making sure I pick up both loops again. And I've done one double crochet, two, and three. Into our next chain, we're doing two half trebles. So yarn over into your next stitch, pick up a loop yarn over and pull through both and then we're repeating that again into the same stitch. Into the next stitch we're doing one half treble and one treble so yarn over into your next remember to pick up both loops there's one half treble and then yarn over into the same stitch, pick up both loops, pull up a loop, you've got three on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two and we've completed the tail. We're now going to be working on the body. So we want to do a treble into each of the next two chains. So yarn over into your next stitch, remembering to pick up both loops yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then repeat that into the next chain stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We then want to treble two together over the next two chains. So we are going to yarn over into our next chain stitch, picking up both loops, And pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over again into your next stitch, remember to pick up both loops, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through three. We then want to repeat that stitch again, so yarn over into your next stitch, remember to pick up both loops, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. We then want to do a treble into each of the next three stitches. So yarn over into your next, remembering to pick up both loops, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat the same into the next stitch. And then repeat the same into the next stitch. So after those three trebles, we want to do a half treble into the next chain. So yarn over into your next, pick up both loops, pull a loop through, yarn over and pull through three. We finish the body and now we can move on to the head. So we want to do a treble into the next chain. So yarn over into the next, pick up both loops, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We then want to chain three. So one, two, and three. We then need to do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So the third chain from the hook, you count back from here. So you've got one, two, and three. So we're going to do a double crochet into that one. Go into that stitch. I'm still picking up both loops. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both. We're then doing a half treble into the next chain. 
so yarn over and we're going back to these chains over here so going through remembering to pick up both loops Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain three again. One, two and three. Another double crochet into the third chain from the hook. Now we want to do a slip stitch into the stitch that we did our half treble in last time so we can see our stitch coming out from our we've got we've got the remainder of our chains just here and the last stitch we went into was this one and you've got your last half treble coming out of here so you want to go into that same stitch pull up a loop and pull that one straight through i've then got two more chains left it says in the magazine you should only have one chain left. I don't think it matters too much, but we're just going to slip stitch. If, if you've got one or two, do either one slip stitch or two slip stitches. So I'm going in through and picking up both loops. Pulling through, pulling through again, and then I'm doing that into my final chain as well. So there we go, there is the main part of him done and we can fasten off. The next colour that we're going to be working with is yarn B, which is the vanilla. And it says that we need to join it to the first chain stitch that we did, which is the ones that we just did the slip stitch into. Now, I don't know if you've got two or if you've got one like me, but if you had two, join it to the first one that you did. So we're not joining to this slip stitch, we're joining to the second one because then it will be in the same place as the magazine. So turn your work this way. Now you've got one slip stitch here and you've got one just here and that's the one that we're going to be joining the yarn to. So I'm going to go in through with my hook and then I'm going to pull my vanilla yarn through. And then once that one's in, I can make a loop and now get ready to start. So we are doing a half treble into the next chain. So yarn over and into the next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We then want to chain three. One, two and three. And then do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So count back one, two and three. and then do two double crochets under the half treble. So where our half treble goes into that, can you see that it's pulling up that stitch there and there's a hole? We want to do two double crochets into there. So there's one and two. We're doing one double crochet into each of the next two chains. So go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. Into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both. A half treble into the next, so yarn over. Into the next, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. Two trebles into the next, so yarn over into your next stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over into the same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. 
we're doing one treble into the next and then one treble one half treble into the one after so yarn over into your next chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now a half treble in the same stitch so yarn over into the same yarn over and pull through all three one double crochet into the next so into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through both and then a slip stitch into the next chain. So into the next chain, pull up a loop and pull through both. And now you can fasten that one off. So I was apparently supposed to put stitch markers in my work as I went along to mark where the fins go, but silly me didn't read that part. So I have just worked out from the pattern where they need to go. So I will show you now. You've got your triangle here on his head, his back, I don't know. You've got, turn it this way. You've got the triangle here. We're ignoring the triangle. So if you wish to, put your finger over it and cover it up so it's gone. We're just working into the stitches along his back. So if you count from the left hand side at the base of where my thumb is, you've got one, two, three, four and five. So if I go up, you should be able to see there, you've got exactly five stitches. Our first fin needs to go into that fifth stitch, so we want to join our coral yarn to there. I've joined my coral yarn, and now we're going to be making the first fin. So chain three, one, two, and three. We then want to do two trebles into that same stitch, so yarn over into that stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And we're repeating that same stitch, pull through two and pull through two. And you can now fasten that one off. So we're leaving a space of just one stitch and we're going into the one after. I'm joining my yarn to this stitch here. We're just pulling that one through. And pulling up a loop, we then want to chain three. One, two, and three. Two trebles into that same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over into the same, pull through two, pull through two. You can now fasten that one off and get your background square ready because Sheldon is now finished. So here's my square. It says when we pin him down that we want him slightly to the right of the centre. So as you can see, you can see that the middle of the centre of the square just slightly here, but the rest is covered up. So I've just pinned him slightly to the right. I've also pinned him at a slight slant because I felt he just looks slightly better like that. And when I sew it, I am going to sew it so the tail is curling up slightly just like it is on the square in the magazine. So now the reason that I didn't tell you as we were going along with this was... Now the reason that I didn't tell you as we went along to make sure we left long enough tails for sewing is that there are going to be many different colour changes as we go round here. So I'm actually going to cut off new bits of yarn and I've just cut all these short so that I can thread them under and then I'm just going to do the colour changes as I go round. So I'm going to sew that one down now and I'll meet you back when that one's done. So here is my Sheldon, now he is sewn down. For me personally, I'm not actually going to do an eye on this one because I think it doesn't look quite right, especially in the magazine version. So I am going to just leave it like this, but I will do the bubbles and I'll show you how to do those. If you want to do an eye, obviously go ahead and do one and you can refer back onto other videos where we've done eyes before to see how you should be doing those. 
So for the bubbles, we're doing similar to... We did chain stitches recently. I can't remember what square they were on with the tendrils on the pumpkin square. So it's similar to that. I've done one already. So what we're doing is we are going... I've already... Like you can see, I've already done one. So obviously, I've already got my yarn attached. So you need to do that first. But just go up through your work until you're happy with the placement of where it is. Pull your needle up through. We're now going back down through the same hole as where we just came up through. But don't pull it all the way. So when you're happy with the size bubble that you've got, you then want to form it into a circle and just hold it into place where you'd like it. And then go up through the other side of your circle. And we're going to fix that one down going either side of it. Now that one's quite pointed. If you do wish to, you could either even go I'll show you what I mean by it. I'm going to go up through the bottom of the bubble now. And I'm going to sew down this side so it's more circular. And then I'm going to go up through the top of the circle as well. Just catch that one like so. And go down the other side of it. So it's completely up to you if you want to do sort of four points to hold the bubble in place or if you just want to stick to doing it the once. But I'm going to do my five bubbles now and I'll show you my square when it's finished. So here is my final finished Sheldon character square from issue 44. I hope you've enjoyed doing this one. It does mean that we have now got that square finished because obviously we made that background square such a long time ago. It's nice to finally get Sheldon on there. So this was part A of this video. I will now be just completely stopping this one and going straight into the next one for you. So you've got two to do relatively close together so i will be making the coral wheel square next we're going to be using the coral yarn for that one mm -hmm.